had um, some people come and stay here last month. Um, I think it was like a group of 12. And three of them stayed in Paul's room, Robbie's room. They left at 11 p.m. We watched them on the monitors. They were terrified. They just left. They just left and drove home. Yeah, this room definitely gives me the creeps. Alright, so file one on my recorder. I'll walk inside. Base camp. I never knew where the one on the first floor was. I know. I found that one first. I still haven't found the other one. Slight. When you first walk in. Right, so Alan, I believe, is talking to Angie. So if there's any. Other voices. I just thought I heard footsteps behind me, but I could have been the door closing. Yeah, so I still hear Helen's voice. I'm just talking to Andy, trying to get information. This is absolutely creepy in here. hear your voice can you talk into this recorder so I heard a woman's voice when I was over here it wasn't me yeah it was weird <laughs> Walking through with my recorder. Same here in my vest. 
my body came on as well. I thought I heard someone. This room definitely gives me the creeps. Yeah, this room definitely gives me the creeps. Tell me your story. My name is Derek. Can you let me know who's in here with me? I heard a woman's voice, like already, like I was walking through, I was the only one in here, um, Alan was in here, and I don't... Do you know what it said? I'm going to replay, I was at like 1.18 on my recorder, I looked down immediately to see what time. But this place is freaking huge. Yeah, it is. So this is where we're going to have our base camp right in here. Because this is actually a good place for a base camp because this is the furthest room and that door is locked out or closed off. Oh, okay. So we know no one's going to come in through this way. So like this is like a sectioned off room. All right, so file two, we are in the kitchen area. We just reviewed a what I thought was a disembodied voice. It sounded to me like a woman who said, who are you? Are right there, so somebody just walked through the bathrooms. There's that woman that they said if we're in her kitchen, she'll ask what we're doing and stuff like that. Did I just hear your voice? I'm gonna review this in about 15 seconds if you have a message for me. So far. 
Going back real quick just to see. We just reviewed a what I thought was a disembodied voice. It sounded to me like a woman who said, "Who are you?" Who are you? It's not saying who are you again, is it? My body cam is rolling. We are about to start a live stream on TikTok. This place is massive inside. Oh, this is the attic. This is also where the cloak figures are seen. So there is reports that there's cloak figures from the movie that actually manifest in real life because of the energy. Dan, you're already up here, right? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm setting up the uh, music box. Okay. Because she said that they'll play up here. So I was going to put it here by the doorway. Yeah. So, Cindy, we are at the filming location for the Hell House movies. You know, that's, that's comforting. We got this little guy here. You know, just a guillotine chilling. Why not? So, yeah, the end scene was pretty much shot, like, right here. So, guys, if you get a chance, watch the Hell House movies. They're free on Tubi. They're on Shudder. I think they're great, well-done movies. Um, the, I, we, we met the director. He was great. We met some of the cast at the last Paracon that they held here. And it, they're very, like, the movie has gained a huge cult following, just because it's, you know, they're original, and they're well done, they're not cheesy. What's that? Yeah. Are we, doing? Are we testing the range of the music box? I just want to see if I can see it. Okay, we can see the light come on, and we'll clearly okay. hear it. So. so. Oh, look at that TV. I love that TV. I had one of them there, TVs. <laughs> look at that bad boy. Uh, yeah, when I was the remote control, I had to get up one of those five buttons. <laughs> So Dan is running a night vision camera, okay, full so spectrum. Through, we'll show him the music box. You want to get the music box in there, Sissy? All you got to do is break the infrared plane, and it'll play music. So. All right, so we can definitely go live from up here in the okay. bar. Control until the house is standing in front of it. It'll just continue to play. Yeah. Make a skilly, skilly then if you get away from the plane... That's recording just because we never friggin' know. Yeah. All right, guys. So good news is, is we have full service up in the attic area, up in 2C, in the bar area, and that's probably a lot of the areas that fans of the movie want to see um, us investigate tonight. So, yeah, the first one's definitely the best. Um, I think two and three are toss-up, depending on preference. Two is great. And I think four is the second best. I love the... The origins? Origins, yeah. yeah. But nothing beats Hell House original. Yeah. I love it. And uh, you guys get to vote. Who's getting their head cut off? I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're not doing that. Or are we? Or are we? <laughs> so, guys, we have eight people here tonight. Half the time, we probably will only see a couple of us at a time because this place is so mammoth. Why is that going off? Did you guys hear that in the comments? But the thing is... Hold on. Why did that sound a mile away, not like it's right in the other room? Hold on. Wait. Can you make that go off again? No, human didn't walk by. We're the only three up here. If I'll go... go back in front of that to make that music play, we would really appreciate that. Yeah, we showed you how it worked, but we're the only three up yeah, here. No, There's we're... Dan, Chris, and myself we're right here. We're talking about which head we're cutting off. Yeah. Christy is coming up. Christy, go in that room for a minute. Straight ahead. <laughs> Let us know what happens. Don't walk past the bed, though. We just want to see Tom. You know what, 
Yeah, so we're just seeing why that went off because. Come here, we can watch it. I can see nobody walked in front of it. I already yeah. started recording. Yeah, he was recording it already. Oh, so we can play it back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Velvet's right. Like, we it heard the music box going on while well, three of us. Yeah, if you want to come yeah. over here so we can, they can see yeah. that it was not a person because I. Yeah. <laughs> And then it's going to show me stand in front of it and test it out. Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll see we're all in there. Until I take the box off. Well, it's going to take a few minutes, right, to get to that point. Well, it was only two. It was a two-minute video, two but minute. I can't fast forward on the playback here. But that's it going off with us. And now we're all in that other room. Oh, you turned it on as soon as we walked out. This okay. is recording before we even went in there. Oh, okay. As soon as, I, as soon as you were standing in front of it, I was recording. Celine says hi. <laughs> Celine? Yeah. Celine. So, yeah, so this gadget that's on the bed, it plays that music as soon as something breaks that plane. We, we demonstrated it earlier, just a few minutes ago in the live stream. Right there. And there's, there's nobody in front of it. Yeah. Does anything we should spend the next 30 seconds talking about why it went off? Yeah. Yep. File five. <laughs> Going to the bar. Going to the bar. I don't know where he is. When you get something like that, I really hate to be that guy. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's, it's like Wildwood just skimming through the camera. Mm -hmm. All we saw was the door open. Uh -huh. The door closed. I'm like, Derek, yeah, I see this. It comes up right where I went back. Like, What this guy? Yeah. Say, I don't know if we have tape, but I do have my laser that has the grid. Oh, Ooh. nice. So we can, if I can yeah. tape that button down, we can set this up For somewhere sure. too. Okay, so, going off again. so file six, we are in the bar area. I'm set my recorder far enough away from the quarter box where it's not going to be too distorted. So I'm going to turn this on. seven we're still in the bar but definitely we replayed the audio De definitely said it's a cat ball and the second response was kind of choppy is it really okay
morning? I heard morning, but you're wrong. Was it daytime where you were at? Morning? I thought someone was just standing right behind me. <laughs> like, I felt like someone was, I thought it was one of you guys. Yeah, Bob went off. I got out of camera this time. Is there someone messing with those light up balls in the hallway or someone standing behind me? I thought Chris was doing just what he's doing now, so I turned. Good morning. Can I just say good morning? Good morning. Oh, my hand, Mister. I was recording. What would you like to drink? Thank you. What's your drink of choice, there, madam? Hopefully, it's this. <laughs> Tell me what it is. That way we can service you. Is it because Dan's behind the bar while you won't serve us? Hotel. <laughs> that was hotel clear as day, right? I heard that clear as day. Am I allowed at the bar? Hotel. <laughs> that was hotel clear as day, right? I heard that clear as day. Am I allowed at the bar? My bar, yeah. Is this are, are you a spear from when this used to be a hotel? <coughs> what hotel are you referring to? Hotel. So she said during the walkthrough, she was talking about the name that I was trying to think of that the spirits that manifest because of us putting that energy out there. Al Gore or something, whatever she, whatever term she used, that's the term I was thinking of. You said this was a hotel, is this the Avidon Hotel? I just said no. I, I heard no. A male voice said no. It was like distant, but I didn't yeah. hear it. You said this was a hotel. Is this the Avidon Hotel? I just said no. <laughs> Alright, so file eight, we are ending the bar session. We're probably going to regroup at base camp. Yeah, I'm going to file three or four. Off a little bit. Um, <coughs> I'm going to. I'm gonna go in the basement, I think. I wouldn't. I'm going to, that's right. That's right. I'm gonna go in his cage. You're gonna go in the cage? You guys should like touch it. Oh my god. You remember what happened the last time the door got stuck? <laughs> yeah, you'll poop your pants. He's brave. Super brave. <laughs> Super brave. Only cried like. So file nine, we are heading to the basement. We just got done with a portal box session in the bar. We've gotten some responses that we know of. Uh, still got to go back through and try to clean up some other responses.
We still gotta go up to 2C, man. Oh, I'm on 38. <laughs> <laughs> that was fresh. <laughs> I was gonna answer you, but then I forgot I was alive. Oh. <laughs> we still gotta do something in here, too. We haven't done a session in here. Who would she say haunts this? Uh, what's the uh, cook's name? Who had a heart attack? Or Keith. Keith. Was it Keith? Um, yeah, the old cook. Keith Cook. I forgot the lady's name. And this is where I heard that disembodied voice walking through here. And it was so Alan. He argues, he argues with Beatrice as well. Alan was in here Beatrice talking to... They argue with, yeah, they argue yeah. with each other. That's right. Alan was talking to Angela to, about unlocking the basement door. So it was only me and him in here. Because I, I said I want to be in here when there's very few people walking through to see if I capture anything. And that's when I heard that voice that said, who are you? I was walking right through here too. So we're going to go down in the basement. Is this edible? Sure. Sure. What, are you hungry? No. <laughs> I mean, let's grab a drink. God, it's fucking... Yeah, that's actually not a bad idea. There you go. Okay, well, it's like the restaurant. I'll just fucking dive to here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, waters! How that was... one's... I want the half-drink one. <laughs> I'm still recording, so if so she's in here, you don't like Dan messing her... Did you just pull my backpack? No, I was turned to see what's going on over here. Hey oh, guys, there's a head in the pot. What? Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> Woman! <laughs> Woman! Oh, I wish I was holding the camera, I could get all the jump scares. I got that on camera. <laughs> wow! I broke the seal, so I got no pot. Oh, yeah. yep. What do we need? We're going to the basement? Yep. What do we need? I'm just kind of, I'm just Look recording. I'm just kind of walking. Bullshit. We're kind of just. What? You picking its nose? It's probably one and it's going to say fuck you. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Yeah, well, how many times have we actually got cool stuff just messing around on the way to the next place? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because I heard this time. What is it? It looks like a rat. Ah, okay. Jinkies. <laughs> <laughs> this guy screams on jinkies. They sound like just jinkies! Man, it's like 20 degrees colder in this hallway. Right? I know. Oh, did we end up closing this door and locking it? Dude, that bitch scared me. Or we just closed it? Did I lock this? That bitch. I see her peeking through. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't see her. She's hot. I'm, my eyes aren't at that level. She thinks. <laughs> Is that one open? What? That was Dan. I'm marking my recorder. What did you say? I was marking my recorder. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're good. Stop whispering. Oh. Hey, good luck sleeping down here, boss. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> You don't want. Hopefully. Well, watch out for that, Chris. Oh, I cannot. <laughs> you don't want Jerick in there. Touch that. You said they'll reach. It. Put it right on that threshold. It's been there. <laughs> oh my God. What's in there? Did they say? Um, spirit that Shadow. doesn't like. No, I mean like as far as like why it was locked. Just it's dangerous. Yeah, yeah there's like broken glass and stuff. Oh, fuck bash my head on that. Yeah, oh, I caught it in the camera. Uh-oh. And I caught the reaction. It's not like I'm like, watch this. He's about to hit it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going right, to start a new session. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. All right. File 10. File whatever this is. Uh, the Death of Dan. 
I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, so I am rolling on my district recorder. This is file 10. Pretty much everybody is in the basement minus uh, Chris, right? Yeah. Is that it? I'm just doing a quick head count. Just so that way we know who's down here, if we hear anything or. All right, so whoever's down here, can you let me know why you don't want people in your space? Are you going to make me uncomfortable? Do you propose to turn him on Spirit Doctor? No. Go I know it's controversial, but you never know what comes through. If you don't want us down here, you can touch that device too. That'll light up and make noise. Can you move something for us? Mabel. I didn't know you turned that on. I'm, I said it out loud. I'm sorry. Well, I turned this on. I'm standing in the puddle and it's, it's not it's raining. Mabel or meatball? Mabel. Ma if it says meatball, I'm done. <laughs> if it says meatball. Hi, Mabel. They say you make people uncomfortable in there. Can you touch the antenna if you don't want them in there? Do you guys feel anything? Are you uncomfortable or anything in there? Yeah. There are two very corroded batteries hooked up to a very old sub pump. Oh, well, that would be the mold smell, probably. <laughs> Probably. Let you lick them and see it. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. You think it works? That's just impressive. You gotta look at that. That's, that's impressive. Hey, ball's going off over there. Was that going off for a while? I don't think so. I just panned my camera over there. Yeah. So. Alright, whoever's touching that, can you stop for a few seconds? Can you touch? Can you stop touching that cat ball for a minute? Where Where is it keeps going off. Over in front of the freezer. Uh, I'm gonna sneak by real quick. Yeah, you're good. That's buried in the rocks too, so it's not like it's anywhere. Kevin. Kevin. McAllister. Or does it say heaven? To the heaven. Heaven. Oh. What's that? An iPod? Is he touching that? Is that where are you in range of that? Okay, well, I'm I'm setting this right I here. don't think so. Okay. You're just draining the battery. No, that won't do that. Can you make that Shut other it down again. place light up? So that shouldn't activate that at all. <coughs> There's someone in there manipulating those devices? That one, probably not. Because remember, those, break, those boxes are over here. The fuse boxes are there. <coughs> so you might get a reading or two from that, but... Let me, um... Yeah, if you want. Let me go in there real quick, do a burst EVP session for like a minute, minute and a half, and play it back, see if there's anything in there. Am I allowed to come in here? So I'm going to play this real quick. Yeah, it's going to be file 11. So file 11, we're in the basement. Mm. 
Speak near this device for me. Watch. As soon as I load into Instagram. Olivia. Was that the lady's name? Oh, no, I say something, it doesn't. There's bad here. Huh? There's bad here. Is this good? Yeah, that's going nuts. File 13, soul session in the basement. Now that I'm by myself, is there anything that you want to say? My name is Derek. Can you tell me your name? You say you like to make people uncomfortable in here, is that true? Is there anything you want to say to me while I'm down here? They have a message for someone. Now is your chance to say it. I'm down here. You can come down if you want. So this, um, all right, so I'm going to shut this off. Just a two minute, 47 second session down here solo. I'm just getting some B-roll and then I just popped in there. I'm going to play my quiet right now. solo session in the basement. There's no one else down here at all, so. so. Now that I'm by myself, is there anything that you want to say? Well, 14 recorders in my vest. We are going to head up to the third floor. I 
mean, it's still warmer up here, but it definitely got less warm than what it was. I think I'm going to set up a portal box in here on like a chair maybe. Or maybe just right here on this. You can kind of pan around. and. Yeah. So I'm going to set you guys up right here, right in front of the guillotine. If you guys aren't familiar with the device right there, that is a portal box. And that will hopefully magnify any spirit voice or any voice that comes through. So I always document this for the live streams and for my YouTube videos, what file number we're starting on. So that way you guys know we're not manipulating any of the files or adding in any extra stuff. So this could be loud to start with, just to warn you. If you have earbuds in or AirPods or what, what have you. File 15 is a spirit box session. Whoa, that moves. My recorder up there. And as you guys can tell, that's cycling through the radio stations right now. And the idea is that spirits can manipulate the white noise in between it or the radio stations themselves. For responses we actually did get some good responses down in the bar area and that's going to be on the YouTube video and they're intelligent responses that only apply to what we're talking about so that's how you can kind of discern whether it's radio bleed through or an actual spirit response so something touch you I thought something tugged on me earlier. Really? Yeah. That's exactly what I felt like. Did someone just touch the shell? <laughs> something. It was that was a direct response. Oh my god. Did someone just touch the shell? <laughs> Did someone just this is known as Robbie's room. Okay. In the room, in the movie, it's Paul's room. Okay. In my world, it's Robbie's room. But if you can do a lot of fun things in here with um, with the kids, that closet. Oh my god, I hate that closet. So if any of you are brave and want to go and do a solo in there or something, like nope. have fun with that. Yeah, we did solos in yeah. SKP's no. closet. <laughs> Why does this closet give me creepy vibes? It's a creepy closet. Oof. Ugh. Do you like me poking around in your closet? <laughs> Who's in the closet? <laughs> Hey, 
Can I come out? <laughs> Peekaboo. Is there any kids in here who want to play hide and seek? Give me a, I'll count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Did they pick good hiding spots? <laughs> Beep <-o. gasps> One, two, three, one, two, two, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Ten. Ten.